hi guys today we have one simple tutorial for you and we're gonna create this Pokemon ball in 3d Max. so for this we need to create sphere and let's make it a little bit smoother by increasing the segments let's make it 64 segments and it so it's really good and smooth and then convert it to editable poly okay now let's delete this middle part okay and now let's give sickness to it for this we need to have we need to add shell modifier to it so we add shell and let's make it inside and uh, let's make it zero the outer amount okay now let's create another sphere and align it to the first sphere we created so select the second sphere and press align and then click the first sphere we created and choose the axis you want to be aligned so I want all axes and I want to be aligned as a center so as we see our second sphere is smaller so let's increase the radius okay and now let's add the colors okay so I want the second sphere which is inside to be black I always advise people not to make it all the way up to make it zero 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 because it's not realistic so I always do a little bit less than zero for example five so then we need to create another material like white and also I'm not doing all the way down white I like a little bit up and let's create the red so the red is something like this okay now let's select our upper element and add this red material so what we need to do is add this circle and the small white circle so for this we need to create a cylinder and make it higher let's delete this height segments because we don't need it and let's make sides 32 because we want more segments and then let's align this to our first sphere let's see what's happening by pressing F3 okay our cylinder is inside our sphere so let's move it forward and now we need to cut this sphere cylinder out of this sphere okay so let's select our first sphere which we want to be cut and go to create panel and then go to compound objects and click boolean and then add the operands press this button and select our cylinder we see nothing happened because it's union chosen by default we need to be subtract uh, as we see our cylinder is done and it cut the part which was inside this cylinder so we right click and convert it to editable poly and now we see let's isolate this and as you see we have some dark areas here and it's because some vertices are left alone so we need to connect all these vertices to somewhere so let's select first maybe it's better we hide some polygons because we don't need any for example let's select this back object like object which is under and press height selection and then let's select these polygons 
and press hide unselected okay so we got only the polygons we need okay so let's select this and connect also we need to select this and connect select this and connect select this and connect so we are gonna select all these vertices and connect them together okay now what we need to do is connect these vertices for instance to here connect all these vertices and connect it to the upper vertices like this because after that we're gonna do a chamfer in order to make these edges smooth because if we don't do chamfer in the rendering it would look terrible that's why I always advise to do chamfer to the edges okay so don't leave any empty edges here good now let's unhide all select the polygon and press unhide all and control A to select all the polygons and press Auto Smooth. And as you see, the dark parts are gone. Now let's select this middle part. And I guess something happened because it didn't select it automatically. Okay. Now press Auto Smooth again and maybe let's deselect all these other parts except the ones in the curve and press auto smooth again okay good now let's adjust our materials we want all this to be red so we give this red material again and actually we don't need to do this same thing to the this part we just delete it and we copy this model to down but before let's do the chamfer thing I told you about let's double click oh I forgot to connect these vertices let's select these vertices and press connect let's do the same with these vertices okay connect okay now let's double click to this edge so as you see it selected all the edges around and now let's press chamfer and as you see oh we have some problem here maybe you have double vertices yes I was right we have double vertices problem as you see we have only it seems to be only one vertice but if we click like this we have two vertices so that's why we need to collapse it and here too okay now let's double click and press chamfer and let's watch it closer as you see it gets a little bit smoother and let's add extra segments to make it a little more smoother okay 
Now let's do the same with other edge. Press chamfer. Okay. Now it will look much more better in rendering. Okay, so let's select this element, upper element, shift drag and choose clone object. And then let's make mirror and choose Z axis and give white material to it and move it upward. Okay. Now let's delete this element. <coughs> so let's end isolation. And now we nearly done. What we left is only one cylinder here. So let's create our cylinder. And let's align it to center. Okay, and let's move it forward. Okay, and we're gonna do convert to it, convert to editable poly, right click, convert to editable poly, and let's select this polygon and let's isolate this first. So we don't need this back polygon here, let's delete it and then select the front polygon, make inset okay and extrude a little bit okay and then inset again and press collapse okay now let's select all these edges by double clicking and add chamfer let's make it small and add extra segments okay and now let's add select all the polygons and add auto smooth okay now let's end isolate and add and give this white material to this and actually it's a little bit smaller and let's make it front okay Let's give this material to our object. Okay, now let's do rendering. I'm always using Karma render to render my objects. So let's get started. So let's choose Karma as a renderer. Okay. And now let's press here, extended viewports and choose Corona Interactive. So we see what it's gonna look like after rendering. So it's interactive rendering going on here. And of course it's black because we don't have any, any lights here. Let's create light here from here Corona and Corona light. Let's draw the light here and from modify panel let's make it rectangle and let's bring it up as you see we have something here so when we change the viewports as you see the interactive rendering changes but we don't want it to we want to be rendered from only the perspective view so we select our perspective view go to the render settings and press this lock button by doing this when we change the viewport it stays only here okay now let's add plane okay let's move it under our object okay let's give a color to our plane okay let's make our material reflective let's copy this color at standard press here add current material and paste the color here 
and add reflection and as you see our object light reflected here but actually I don't like this caramel light I want to light my scene using image HDR image so let's let me show you how to do it choose any material slot here and press this get material button and move all the way down to the corona bitmap and choose any HDR image you have I like to use this studio 14 small HDR image and it looks something like this and I choose press OK and as you see it goes here and now I press 8 and I drag this HDR image to the environment slot press instance to be able to change it from here and as you see directly after I'm dropping drop this image here our scene get light and here is our HDRI image on the environment and my model gets reflections and lightning from this image and you have you see nice smooth shadows we have here okay so let's give other material too copy this color choose the color of the material and copy the material copy the color to our new material and add reflections do the same with this white material let's copy the color choose the color material let's paste our color here and okay and give reflections good and I don't like this plane here I want it to be like let's hide my plane to be like this but I want my shadows here like a sh object is in the floor here so let's bring our plane back and choose the material we gave to our plane select this standard button and choose Corona shadow catcher material shadow catcher material which is which helps our plane to, to be invisible but still catch the shadow so for this we need to drag our environment image to this slot choose instance and from the projection mode we choose environment projection on the geometry okay now as you see our plane disappeared but shadows are still here as we move as we rotate our model you see that it seems to be there okay even we can if we choose the different HDRI for instance let's choose different HDRI from this old map like this other HDRI uh, even if we change the HDR image our shadow catcher works fine okay let's st let it stay like this and let's move our model let's rotate our model so that it looks toward us okay okay and let's do one more cool thing uh, let's go to the render setup let's go to the camera panel and from here we can adjust our exposure and we add we can add saturation we can add contrast we can do some post processing here we can adjust white balance from here okay and we can add really cool bloom and glare here let's press enable and adjust intensity like 10 and clear intensity 10 and as you see we have nice flare here we can adjust it through the threshold if we make it lower the more glow we're gonna have and if we make it higher number 
it would get the effect gonna disappear I like something like this so when we gonna turn it to look like real object here okay I hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching and now let's press render and see what we gonna have let's make it bigger like HD let's press render and it's it looks really cool 